How's it going guys, the Tipple Gamers? I'm Jack, and welcome to another sort of tech video, uh, slash tutorial. Um, and basically, I've been asked a little bit about how I record my videos, and what I do to, you know, get them like they are, and, you know, uh, record, edit, upload, just uh, the whole sort of process of me making a video. Um, so I thought I'd answer some of those questions, because uh, people ask me about, you know, just like things or things I use to record or settings I use, so I figured I'd put that all into one video. So uh, in terms of hardware to record my stuff and power it all, um, I just use my Blue Snowball microphone for audio. Um, I, I use the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable for Xbox recording, and then I just have the Lenovo Y510P laptop uh, for you know just running everything. That thing runs. It runs games great, it runs rendering great, it just pretty much works for everything, so great YouTube laptop. If you guys want me to do an in-depth review of that laptop, uh, I'll be happy to do that. It is a little bit of an older model, but I think it'll still be uh, a good investment if you want to invest in one for YouTube. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of hardware. Uh, I just use those three things, basically, and that's pretty much how I record everything. Uh, so here's some of the software here. This is Audacity. Uh, this is what I always use to record my uh, audio in all my videos. Um, it works great. You can post-process all this stuff. There's so many options and effects you can put on. Um, the, my favorite effect after I would so I what what would happen? I record my audio and whatnot, stop it, go to effect, and then I what you do is you select the whole thing and then just remove some of the noise with this effect right here, noise removal, um, and it just works really great for you know just canceling out some of like maybe fan noise or something in the background or I don't know if like I don't know uh, rain or something in the background, but it it works great for that. Um, so Audacity, fully free program, go download it, uh, great for audio recording, I, I wouldn't recommend anything else. Uh, in terms of video recording, um, I've tried a lot of different things, I tried Marillus Action, I've tried, uh, I tried XSplit, I tried uh, the Avermedia program here, and I think the best program for recording PC gameplay uh, and streaming actually is Open Broadcaster Software, uh, aka OBS. So. Um, definitely de give this a try if you haven't already. Um, it, it, it is a little glitchy sometimes when recording games, um, but most of the things you can fix if you just like look it up online or something like that. So uh, if you ever have an issue with OBS, because there are quite a few issues, um, just like recording certain games and stuff like that, just look it up online and usually there's a way to fix it or get around it. Um, so yeah, it works great. Uh, some of my render settings here, if you want to check them out. Um, this is for 1080p 60fps, so I'll just click through these real quick. You guys can pause it and check out some of my settings. Um, but yeah, these these settings work great. Um, haven't had a problem. They you know produce pretty good looking video, so I uh, can't really complain. Um, you have all these options to you know create layers and stuff if you want to put cool graphics on the background or a face cam in the corner. Um, it has it has pretty much options for everything, so really easy to use, really easy to customize, and it's just overall a great program. It records in 1080p 60fps, and it's free. Uh, so you know what more can you ask? So that's pretty much it in terms of recording. I use Audacity and OBS, both free programs, both great. Um, but in terms of editing, it is a little bit harder to find a free program. Um, so I have Sony Vegas here. Uh, Sunny Vegas Pro 13. There's also Adobe After Effects, which I've used. Uh, also another great program, but that's a little bit more... I would say that F Vegas Pro is a little bit more of an entry-level sort of thing. If you don't feel that comfortable editing videos and you're not sure if you want to get into it all the way, just go with Vegas Pro or even iMovie. Um, I mean, if you're just going to be cutting clips together, uh, stuff like that. But if you're going to do, like, I don't know, edits for, like, a montage or something like that, I would definitely recommend you upgrade to After Effects because... Uh, even though it is a lot more complicated, it does have a lot more capabilities and a lot more customization and stuff like that. Um, but Vegas Pro works fine for me. That's all I really need. I don't need to put all these crazy effects and stuff like that and cool transitions and such. So yeah, uh, Vegas Pro, uh, Vegas Pro 13 actually, is it, it's a paid program. Um, there are ways to get around it. I don't really want to talk about that in the video, but you know, there's the internet. You can go look it up and figure out other ways to get this program. Um, so yeah. Uh, Vegas Pro, I, I don't know why I minimized it there. Uh, some of my properties here, here is the, um, or the project property settings I use for video. This is all, once again, 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS. You can pause it if you want. Um, and basically, really easy. All right, so we'll just open up this video here, and I'll show you how easy it is to edit and stuff. Um, assuming this thing will open. Okay, there we go. Uh, make our tracks the same size. There we go. Uh, so there's our video. Uh, it's really easy. Just, you have audio tracks, which you can change the, like, um, volume on it. Um, you can change opacity, you can add all these effects and stuff. Uh, here's a bunch of video effects that you can add to all your sort of things. It just looks great. 
Uh, it's really easy to use. It's not that hard. If you watch maybe 20 minutes of tutorials, you can be become pretty much a pro at this program. Um, but yeah, it's it's just a great program. Pretty pretty set, straightforward, simple to use. Um, and in terms of render settings, uh, here are my render settings right here. If this thing will ever open up. Uh, okay, so here we go. YouTube render, render settings. Uh, there's all my render settings right there. Uh, once again, 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS. Uh, video, there's audio, system, and project. So yeah, you can copy all those down if you want. Um, those render settings have never steered me wrong, I guess, so use them. <laughs> sponsor. Just kidding, not a sponsor. Okay, uh, let me go to my YouTube channel here and show you guys how I upload my videos. When you're going to upload a video, just obviously hit the upload button. It's right here and it's big. Um, open up your file. Let's say I want to upload... Um, okay, there we go. Uploading this video. I'm going to make it unlisted just so it doesn't upload. Um, so what I do usually, I have it unlisted, and what I will do is I will just um, save all the changes so it doesn't pop up right away. I can just edit the description, type what I want. Hey guys, uh, Jack here with an awesome video. Woo, okay. And then you uh, obviously add your tags. Um, I'm not really sure. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the title is in the search engine, how the YouTube algorithm works. Uh, the title is actually the most important thing. I think it used to be the tags, but now it's the title. Um, so make sure you put good titles on your videos. You don't want to be titling like. Make sure if you're making a, all right, if you're making a game video, make sure you have the title of the game. Um, that I guess the title of the episode, maybe I don't know, just stuff like that. Try and make your titles as thorough as possible um, without being like insanely long. But um, I, I keep mine simple. I would just call this one um, uh, hilarious video. Uh, CS go f funny moments or something like that so uh, I don't know that just that's what I like to do you there's tons of ways to format your title people do it all the time um, but you, you kind of develop your own style over time um, and then tags here uh, just put in obvious things uh, you know CS go CS go funny moments oh yeah stuff like that just you know come up with tags that you think people would search th people things people would put in the search bar um, but don't be don't be like crazy with the tags I'd say put maybe like 15 to 20 tags in each video that's about what I do um, and I, and that should be more than fine make sure you write a pretty decent description as well um, I copy and paste most of my descriptions then I just change like maybe the first couple sentences or something like that um, but make sure you have all your music credentials and stuff like that in your description you don't want to get a copyright strike um, and then once you're done with that just hit public and upload it oh wait I forgot something thumbnails thumbnails are a huge part of your YouTube videos because people won't click on your videos if they don't have good thumbnails okay so look at this Minecraft a typical server server update uh, I mean it's not that bad of a thumbnail it has a it has the game name you want to put that in every single thumbnail usually um, kind of put I put a either to put the title or put like some sort of summary of the title um, and what I like to include, just make sure you have a decent looking background. This one's it's pretty low effort. Um, this is back in the day when I barely knew how to use Photoshop. Um, but yeah, that's that. I mean, you know, I I even still make bad thumbnails sometimes that I'm not entirely proud of. But I I like I I, I just kind you just kind of know when you have a good thumbnail. Like when I have a good th thumbnail, I know I'm like proud of it. Um, I feel proud of this thumbnail especially. This was a good one I thought of. I thought uh, this was this was probably one of my better thumbnails. Uh, you know, I have the CSGO logo right there. I have a, you know, cool looking op shot in the background. Got the title going along right there with a cool gradient on it. Um, and then I have a cool little thing with the crown right there. I, I just thought it was a great thumbnail. Um, well, that's one of my favorites right there. And obviously you can see um, one of my more viewed videos and liked videos and commented videos. So, you know, the good thumbnails work out. Um, the tech videos also, I mean, uh, you just make a, just make sure you make a clean thumbnail with the, with easy, easily readable font. Um, let me find an example of non easily readable font this one. You can't read the font on that uh, You cannot read look at that. Okay. This is see this is only th I still do this like this is a recent video Up close it looks good But when you're gonna see this on the side and you see that thumbnail that size you're not gonna be able to read that Can you read that? I, I can't even read that well I mean I can read it because I know what it says but I mean all right assuming you don't know what it says <laughs> you're, you're not gonna be able to read that so make sure you make your thumbnails uh, you know, white or black or not, don't make them that. That looks horrible. I don't know why I did that, but I'm an idiot. 
so yeah, just make them clean, make them easy to read. This is a good thumbnail, another good one. Clutch Master T, go check out the new video, guys, if you haven't already. That, see, that's a clean thumbnail. You can read the font, you can see the logo, cool picture in the background, cool border. That's all you need. That's all you need in a thumbnail right there. Um, and to make these thumbnails, I just use Photoshop. Um, everyone knows about Photoshop, so if you want to download it, uh, obviously you have to pay for it, but you know, there's other ways, like I said, with Sony Vegas. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it of how I upload my videos. I just, you know, I just keep doing that. Make sure you're just staying creative. Uh, I always try and think of new ideas, even though I've been pretty. Look at this. Uh, I always think of new ideas. I say, CSGO, funny moments and highlights. CSGO, funny moments and highlights. CSGO, funny moments and highlights. Oh, look, CSGO, funny moments video. Yeah, okay, I'm really original, guys. Great. Okay. Uh, but yeah, never, besides that, think of new ideas. Uh, try and be original. Um, and, you know, the views, will, the views will hopefully start rolling in. So, yeah, hopefully I helped you out with this tutorial on how to upload, edit, and record your videos. So, anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions or, I don't know, comments, uh, <laughs> put them below. Um, I, I always read all the comments. I respond to every comment that I can. Um, so, yeah, just, just do that. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope it was very helpful and informative. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and peace.